that. How, how many times is this company going to reset? Um, I, I, I'm hoping this is the last time. I, I mean, but we've seen it from everyone this time around. It's not Intel specific. The, the difficult piece with Intel right now is to tell exactly how much of the downtick is them resetting and dealing with the same struggles the rest of their peers are struggling or they're are dealing with versus how much of it is the broader industry where uh, and all of their their customers, but AMD's customers, NVIDIA's customers, they, they all have a bit too much inventory and have to work it down. So you're saying there is a ripple effect here from what Intel told us. It's not just Intel specific and you expect the others to perform weekly weaker as a result? I, we, we've already seen it uh, on the PC side at, at AMD and NVIDIA, right? They, they told us this last quarter, in, Intel's a bit in arrears in, in, in telling us this. Um, but I, I think the struggle with, Invi with Intel is, is specifically that they are a share loser, particularly on the data center side. So when we get to yeah. the end of this inventory correction, it's a bit hard to tell how much of their decline is share loss versus how much is this broader industry struggle. Emily, you like this group, right? Why do you like this group right now when, when as Matt describes it and as Intel described it, the sector's in a bit of an upheaval? Yeah, I think I, I think you need to be very selective in the semiconductor sector. So the companies we like are companies like Lam Research, who are equipment manufacturers, but actually their earnings came out in line with expectations. I think the Intel earnings were definitely a surprise, and I think it's more than than just the semiconductor industry as a whole. You know, Pat Gelsinger warned everyone that this was going to be a several-year long turnaround. And I think part of the issue here is if you look at Intel over the last year, they've increased their CapEx expenditure substantially, but they're just not they're just not getting traction. I think they're losing some market share to the advanced micro devices of the world. I would defer to Matt on this because I'm not a semiconductor analyst, but that's just my impression. Uh, so yes, we still like the semiconductor sector as long as you're not, you know, as long as you're willing to ride the ups and downs of this very volatile sector, uh, but you've got to be selective. Yeah, no question they've been losing share. That, that's been a big part of the Intel story, Matt. What, the ups and downs really have to do with supply chain lately for this sector as well. So much hand-wringing over the shortage of chips during COVID, and now, now we've got a glut.